This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr Simon Travis talks about the clinical trials conducted by the Translational Gastroenterology Unit. Hello Simon. It's very nice to see you. Why do you conduct clinical trials in inflammatory bowel disease? So inflammatory bowel disease is about Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. It's about bringing tomorrow's treatment to patients today. It's about translating science into clinical practice. And for me, at the John Radcliffe, it's about bringing the cutting edge care to our patients in the clinic. And do those clinical trials show promising results? Oh, certainly. There have been a host of new uh, monoclonal antibodies which are effective for treating disease which was otherwise medically untreatable. But there are also uh, studies which are looking at the strategy and approaches to treatment which will alter the pattern of disease in the longer term, and that's our goal. Could you give us an example? There's one very good one. It's called the CALM study, which we're contributing to in Oxford. This is looking at conventional stepped care uh, with uh, a monoclonal antibody called adalimumab, which is examining tight disease control against conventional clinical symptom disease control. And the outcome in two years will, I hope, show a reduction in hospitalization, surgery, and improved quality of life for patients. What are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five or ten years? Well, I think they're twofold. The first is the uh, individual targets of treatment. And there's a host of cell signaling molecules which we now have antibodies against or can use to deliver treatment. And so individual targets is one component. But we're not going to change the pattern of a chronic lifelong disease uh, like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease with those sort of treatments. Uh, I think we need, therefore, a strategy, a set of strategy studies which can be used to look at all aspects of patient care. And I think in a chronic disease, you need those specific timing of treatment to know where drugs play in the, in, in the therapeutic armamentarium. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Mm. Uh, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, the epidemic of the future. Around 1% of people in the UK and Europe have IBD. It's expanding in East Asia, it's expanding in South America and in the Gulf. And if 1% of the population in those countries get IBD, we have a health problem and that's why it matters. And finally, how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? In many ways, we've uh, integrated the basic science and the clinical practice at the John Radcliffe, which is a really exciting area for, for gastroenterology. But inflammation underpins carcinogenesis. It, uh, it interacts with the delivery of care and the, the, uh, the new models for, for, for delivering care. And also from an NDM perspective, with an international uh, uh, component, then part of my role is as president of the European Crohn's and Colitis Organization, representing 31 different countries in Europe, but also interacting with, the, with uh, China, with Japan, with Korea, who have just formed the Asian Organization of Crohn's and Colitis, and NDM have an active program in the, in the Far East, and also in uh, South America, and also in the Gulf states. And that will bring research fellows and, um, uh, and uh, give a profile for Oxford, Oxford gastroenterology abroad. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Zoe.